all, welcome to my channel. I'm Matt, this is Max Mod, and today we have Enterprise Saturday, everybody. So, we are going to be doing stage four of the Enterprise D, and we are going to be hitting them tiny little windows again. Um, so, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to probably speed up me putting them bits in for you, and then you're just not watching me putting in uh, blacked out windows and clear windows throughout this video, which should make it a lot less time to do. So I think I definitely need to get started with this once. With all that said, let's get modelling. Program complete. Enter when ready. Okay, so we're going to start with this bit here. Now we've got all these uh, tiny little windows to put in. Um, we've got clear ones there, we've got blacked out ones there. And then we've got the, actually the lifeboats there as well. Um, so what I'm going to do, when it comes to the little windows, I am going to speed the video up just to uh, save a bit of time. Because uh, it's not right exciting just seeing all these windows being put into place really. But the first thing we need to do, I'm just going to bring over my uh, helping hand. I'm just going to sort of clip it on there. Because the first thing we need to do, we're going to do the life, uh, life, oh, well I would call them escape pods, pods people would say that they are lifeboats, but uh, we need to put these in place. So I'll do that without speeding up the camera. I tell you now, there was a lot of sprue cutting just to do these. Okay, and that's the last one in. So here we go, these are the dreaded. So I'll do a couple before I speed up the video. So these are the uh, blacked out ones. It does give us sort of a diagram in the uh, magazine of where these are gonna go. But I bet, yeah, they're not gonna be the easiest thing. So we need a black one there. We need another blacked out one there and then we need another blacked out one in the next one and then we need a clear one so that's pretty much what we'll be doing for quite a few uh, stages of this uh, build but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed up the video so that I can get these in and save the video time so I'll see you when this is all done Okay, so they're now in place. I'm just going to try and move that to one side carefully, just hopefully not knocking the windows. The next part we need is we need this bit here. This is the, oh, uh, it is the reflector panel A. Now what we need to do with this panel is we've got to uh, put some lights in it basically. <laughs> and we've got some LEDs here and they're basically going to go like that. Now I've heard a few people having trouble with these LEDs of not staying in place when putting it on the panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a dab of glue just where the wires would be just to check, try out a theory that if I glue the wires in place it might be a lot easier. 
So let's uh, see if that is actually true. So it wants the red and blue wire going in this end. And then it wants the other wire, which is uh, black and yellow, going in that end. Just like that. Okay. Now, it's only a tiny dab of glue. I know people have been saying that, uh, we, that we might be changing these wires around, but it's just a little theory of mine. I can always get them off um, because it was a very minute piece of, uh, of glue. But now we need to combine this section here with this section here. So I'm going to take it off the helping hand carefully. I'm going to flip this over just try and move it around I've been very gentle <laughs> don't want to redo all them um, uh, you see that's why it's only the smallest amount of glue because one of the wires has come out already so that's what I mean by only a minute bit of glue okay so I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to try and combine these two parts together without knocking any of them windows off which I think I've successfully done and that one's screwing in place with a BP screw so I'm being very very gentle here I do not want to redo them um, connections now I actually didn't get any BP screws in this issue um, they sent me two lots of DM. That needs a smaller screwdriver. Now you see, I thought that would cut it. So, like I was trying to explain, I um, they just sent me DM screws. So I'm trying to match up what screws are what by really my other screw pots no that one's not the uh, screw I'm, I'm needing because that's just not going to go in I'm going to have to uh, find some better screws that are going to align all this up because if I try and screw that in it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to tighten it you see I mean, it has tightened a little bit. I can probably live with it. And that's them two being placed. And I've just noticed, look at that, how bad that is. How the heck has that happened? Um, right, let's see if we can sort this. Ah, right, okay, so it's just some windows that weren't aligned up properly and that solved that problem and that is that one done but I've just noticed I'm missing a little, uh, an escape pod again that's come out as well so this softer section is going to be a lot of fun by the looks of it if we've got to do this in every single issue Right, I don't know why that's not fitting into place. Ah, oh, right, it's in place now. <laughs> See, there we go. You and I have problems too. Okay, and then that that that's that bit all done. Okay, next, what we need to do, <laughs> as if we haven't done enough, we've got another one of these panels to do. So I'll clip it onto my helping hand. And what I'll do is I will speed up the video and I'll see you when I've got all these bits in.
Okay, so that's all them windows in place now. Tell you what, that is extremely tedious work, I have to admit. Right, so I'm just going to move that up here just for now because again we need to put one of the reflective panels back. Move them away as well. And again, I'm going to try and do the same as what I did previously, and that's just a little dab of glue where the uh, LEDs are going to go. For an issue four, this is quite a lot to do. For one issue, or one stage, sorry, should I say. It's now stage, isn't it? Okay, so we'll uh, get the wires in. So I always like to try and be as accurate as what the magazine says with which way the coloured wires are going in. So that's one in there, and then we've got the other one going over here. Hold them down for a few seconds. That's not a bad hack, is that? Okay, so now we've done that, we need to marry up the two pieces that we've been working on. Okay, so this bit comes back into play. Take the uh, helping hand off. Flip this over. and get that down checking to make sure they're all aligned yes there are and again it's wanting us to use BP screws now the original screws I thought were a good match were not but I've gone through um, my other screw pots for other models and I find I found some that are more or less exactly what we need so I'm using them well actually they're exactly what we need and this is why I save my always save my uh, screws just in case this happens that's too small that screwdriver You never know when they're going to come in handy. So I just check they're all done up properly. They are a very good match, I must admit. Okay, and that's that panel done. Okay, now you'd think that'd be it, but it's not. We've got another panel to do, and this panel is a lovely metal finish. What we first need to do is we've got this part here. This is a transporter emitting pad. We need to put this in place. So just checking it. get that adhesive backing off and we'll bob this into place just like that okay now what we need to do we've got need to put some lifeboat hatches in um, I don't think I need my helping hand on this one um, because you should be able to do it just holding the hand on so I'm just going to put, put them in as we need to. Two. Three. Oh, that one slipped out. That's four. And that's five. Okay. And then we need to marry up um, the section we've just been working on, which is, oh gosh, it's this section here. 
So we're going to flip this over. Actually, it does say that we need to put a wire in place. So I'm just going to put that down because it wants uh, another wire in. I actually missed out that uh, that bit. Um, so it wants a yellow and black wire bobbing onto there. Again, I'm going to do my little glue trick. Okay, so we'll bob that wire in. I mean, I know there's going to be a lot of LED wires in this model. I know it's going to be uh, painstaking in some places. But, uh, yeah, I chose to do it, so why not? Okay, I'm just trying to hold that there while the glue takes, but it's not taking that well. So let's see if we can marry up these two pieces together. Okay, here we go. Oh, it has... Oh, no, I thought it had glued in, but... No. <laughs> right, here we go. So, just try and get that wire to stay in place. Right, so, it's going to go on this side. Just uh, making sure everything. It's like it says in the magazine. Oh gosh. Right, let me just double check on that one. That it's the correct piece. No, nope, it's not the correct piece, that's why it's not lining up. It's this piece. And that's now lined up and then what we need to do is we need to get some DM screws on so I'm going to put uh, lightly put these screws into place and then I'll try and get that uh, LED bulb in okay so that's one just slightly in get the other Okay, now I'm going to get the LED. Try and fit it into place best I can. No, that's not wanting to go in because there's a little notch. I'll take these screws out. Lift the panel. Right, that's now in place, and now I'll screw this down. Okay, next screw. making sure it's just nice and tight in place and that's that bit done wow okay right so what we need to do next we actually uh, are going to test the uh, light so I'm just going to bring over the screw box that they gave in this because this is where the uh, test board is and the battery box so that's that bit there and that's that bit there Okay, so here we go. Right now, we need to put the battery box into terminal F. Then I don't think it matters where these go, but it says uh, A, C, and D. So. Camera, sorry about that. That's A, 
and that's lit up. That's C and that's lit up. And the last one is D. Don't think D is going to make much of a difference. But that is D and that's lit up. Now if I just turn off the overhead light. And that's what they look like now. Looking really, really good. And that is this issue done. That is, sorry, stage four uh, done. And yeah, that was quite a lot of work for uh, a first stage. Uh, on a build but yeah stage four is complete well that is it for this issue or stage four of build the enterprise d and i can tell you now i'm looking at the clock it's taken me nearly 50 minutes to record this video for uh, the enterprise d uh, for this stage so there was a lot to do in that them windows you know the clear windows and the blacked out windows they are really going to be a bit difficult to do in this uh, in this build but uh, it's a challenge and i accept a challenge any day of the week anyway if you like this video please give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos but as for always guys stay safe and bye for now